Bam, right there. How's it going, guys? Token vaping. So today's juice review is not really a juice review. It is a review of an accessory of sorts. Um, for me, I can totally support and acknowledge why this thing is, you know, a definite need for people that are always on the go, always on the move, um, things like that. I've gotten to know the gentleman, I'm going to JG, um, behind the scenes, he is a huge, huge, huge advocate for vaping. He is a big, big uh, about the community, about the people, about vapors, um, true vapors, genuine vapors, vapors that have only just started, have been vaping for a while, just all, all types of vapors. Um, this was his concept. This is his baby. And it's just, it's patent pending. Um, if you go to their website, uh, it will, and I'll give you that address here in a second, but it says that it should be, the patent should be in the process of being granted this year or um, within here shortly. So this is patent pending at the moment or could be uh, patented already. However, I know you guys have seen them. There's a few other uh, people on Instagram that that uh, use these regularly, that support these. I've been using these pretty much since I got my hands on a couple of them. Um, they've gone through a couple of different stages. There are a bunch of different variations of this. This one that I'm going to be reviewing is actually a, it was a prototype sent to me. It is a newest version of their, their uh, biggest model. And I'll explain all that here in a second. But without further ado, the company is vape sling and yes i know a lot of you have seen this um they've done they did a giveaway with dumb blonde juice a while back um they're all over instagram they're all over facebook they do have their own website it's at vape sling.com now vape sling is literally that it is meant to be a sling of sorts for your device whether it's a mech mod whether it's a box box mod um you know uh ones that the the custom mods things like that basically if you vape with it I mean, obviously short of like a, a small little pen style, but even still, they do make small little hand straps for, like this of the same quality, same durability. Um, and you can basically wrap them up in your hand and have it on hand all the time. This, believe it or not, is a much bigger need or a godsend, if you will, then people will realize until you actually use one. Now, if you're not one for wearing large straps like this, like I said, they do make a bunch of different variations of this device. They have ones that are straight a paracord strap with the cradle on it. This is their this is their uh, mod cradle. Um, they make ones that are strictly just for your hand that you basically just wrap up in your hand so you always have it on hand with you um, unless you're planning on doing something you know where you have to let go of your device put your device down things like that i mean how many people drive using their device and instead of not being able to put it in their cup holder put it between your legs you know put it in the little uh handle cup of your of your car door you know or try to stick it in your cup holder you know if you stop short if you swerve if you turn really sharp you know that flies out that flops out that can crack break um god forbid wedge itself underneath your pedals i mean yeah that may be going to a little extreme to some people but you never know it can happen this just if you even just use the smaller version of this strap because they are custom sized so you can order whatever size you want if you want it just to be a necklace style that just hangs you know right in your in your sternum area you can get them that short you can get them as long as this they do make them a little bit longer this was not the longest size they make but it also depends on your height and size as well but that's the nice thing about them is how customizable they are now if you want to wear it just as a necklace or if you want to wear it just the paracord uh, version and just wear it around your, your neck while you're driving. You know, if you don't want to walk around with it on you because you're worried about how it looks. You know what? So be it. It's great. It keeps everything right there. You don't have to hold your device the entire time. You basically just will let it drop. And I'll show you that here. Now, it's going to be a little hard um, on, on my camera right now because I am in my little office cubby. Uh, but what the reason why I'm doing it this way now is I'm going to kind of be doing this video in kind of a two part. Now is basically the explanation of what it is and show you a few different uh, things about this and explain more about the company. There is an expo going on in Pasco, Washington this this coming weekend that I am lucky and fortunate enough to be able to attend for a little bit. I am actually going to have this with me. So during the video, things like that, I will make comments about this and I will show it to you um, during the walking around the usability of it how how convenient it can be don't get me wrong i also use a pouch um 
you know, for my, my a single device if I'm just out and about, things like that. But I have used this a lot. Now, one thing I do want to show you is how strong these things are. These will hold up to about 100 pounds just on this. This is reinforced. These straps are reinforced. The stitching is double and triple reinforced. The stitching on it, if you can see it right there, right on the inside, I mean, that's double stitched. And in some cases, they're triple stitched on the back here where you can see it. I mean, this is heavy duty. This is not going to come apart. Not very easily. And if it does, these things have a lifetime guarantee. JG doesn't care why. He wants to make sure that these things are going to do what he says they're going to do. So if for whatever reason you have a problem with any of any product from him, contact him, send it back to him. They will replace it. Lifetime guarantee. Um, but these things, they have... I mean, they are tough as nails. They, they're now, obviously, if you hang, you know, if I try to hang myself on um, or hang off of, let me rephrase that. If I hang from this, you know, attached to a tree, obviously it's not going to hold me. So I can possibly tear it because I do weigh over 100 pounds. But there isn't a device on the market right now that I can think of that is that heavy. And if it is that heavy, you shouldn't be carrying it around with you, you know, just like that but this will hold up to that and all the information is on their website so it has all of that and shows the facts and everything else but this create this connection cradle right here is reinforced it is a sturdy material and the fabric that they use on this also helps with uh leaks you know if you vape for a bit especially if you use like drippers things like that you know it tends to drip out when you vape uh get a little bit of spit out um uh, when you drip when you drip your juice into your RDA, sometimes it can splash out. This will soak that up so it doesn't get all over your shirt. It doesn't stain, you know, your shirt, things like that. And these are washable. They are machine washable. And you actually one of the newer things they've been doing, um, <clears throat> I won't say super recently, but they they started doing these as cool as they custom make the fabric. You let them know what you want, or you can send them fabric of your own choosing, and they will make it into one. Originally they were just straight, like straight uh solid colors, but as you can tell right there yes this is star wars for me i mean that's awesome that you can do stuff like this if you're into sports you can have sports logos put on these things um just again the customization and there's a few additions to this that i will show you here but i just want to show you real quick what that biggest mod i have right now is this it's the ijoy lux it's a dual 26 650 battery device now if i put this on as you put your cradle on here you're going to line it up with your hole And then I'm going to basically just put this, strap this on, screw this in there. I just have to make sure it's lined up because when it does hang, it needs to be a way that I can hold this comfortably, obviously. So like this. And to show that the connection is there, you know, it still fires. So that that the, the, the cradle doesn't impede all of that. Now, some people are going to worry because this is separates this way. You know, you just take those little funky gel bracelets that you can get for from different companies that have them. Strap them on top like that. And it'll basically hold it in place. Now, for this one, because of the length of this, this is meant to be over the shoulder in the style of like a guitar strap. You know, it has the same strength on it, same durability, same concept. Now, actually, I have this on backwards. There we go. So, as you can see right now, the cradle here does not impede this. So you can still vape with this. Now, if you'll excuse me a quick second as I stand up. Now this is going to rest. Kind of take this up like this. Now this rests at the side here like this, you know, but that holds because, you know, I can take this and if you're vaping, you take that, you drop it, guess what? Doesn't hit the ground. Doesn't hit the ground. Doesn't hit anything else. It hits on my side and it's right there. It doesn't choke me. It doesn't tear on anything like that. But you know what? It's still right here. So that right there is a huge benefit, especially for people who, you know, are tend to be forgetful 
Sometimes, you know, if you get caught up in doing a bunch of stuff and you're busy, you place your device down on a table or a counter, you walk away from it, it's gone. You, don't, you may not even realize it. This will make sure that you don't. You place this on a counter and you walk away, you, it'll fall, but it will be secured, attached to you, and you'll feel the weight on it to remind you, oh yeah, my device. Again, great godsend. Prevents a lot of these from breaking, the glass on these from breaking because it, fa it falls on the ground or it gets knocked over, things like that. As you're driving, you know, like I said, just bear with me here a second. If you have it shortened, you know, say, if you had it shortened to say like this, you know, you drive, you vape, you drop it down and it rests right against your sternum. You don't have to worry about it being lost. Now I just had to hold it up because obviously this is a lot longer, but if you wanted to double it over, or just order one and it's a small one. Now, a couple of the additions that I wanted to show you. The one, the version, this is the 3.1, I believe. The, ver the original version that I got for this that was um, a review that I previously did, it was the 3.0, it's the average Joe. Didn't have any of these extras on here. And by extras, I mean it has a little clip of a little clip band here. It has a little clip band here. And on this side here, as you can see, it has a little pocket. It's just like a little sleeve. Now, the sleeve itself, they're still working on trying to figure out how best to accommodate it if you wanted to use it for like a unicorn bottle or something like that. Right now, it is a little bit tight for it. Um, but if you have, you know, those small little thin uh, mouth to lung devices like the Jewel or the Pods or things like that, they will actually fit nicely in here. And when it sits, it sits facing like this so that you always have it right there if you want to just quickly grab it. Now, these little straps, which is kind of cool actually, is they make, they now offer bottle holders. Now, yes, they do look a little funky and they may change a little bit depending on how, uh, what material that they're using or if they're coming up with specific straps just to hold the bottle itself. But they do offer ones like this that will hold a 30 mil bottle, a glass bottle, or plastic bottle, or just an actual bottle. If you're using a unicorn bottle, you know, it's they as an example, they just cut the bottom off of it and use the strap so it holds you know, you have your juice on you. But the carabiner clip that's right in here, you basically can use and hook right in there. And that's just a secure on there too. This rubber will actually tear if you pull on it before this, before this breaks. So you have your unicorn bottle with your device so that you always have your bottle on hand as well. If you don't use a pouch or if you don't want to keep your bottles in your pocket, some people don't because they forget they're there. You know, they sit down and they basically smash the bottle in half, but you have your, your clip to it and it holds it there and it doesn't, it's not like a jangle thing, like all the time like that, you know, but it's the bottle is at a moment's notice if you do need it. So that's another nice addition to this concept here. There's also on vapesling.com. If you check it out, there's also one that is just the uh, the holder, the, this little carriage strap part with a clip to that that you can use for your mech mods. That you can clip on here as well if you want to, and that, that way you have them both with you. Um, or you can clip the, I know some people that just use that carabiner clip, clip it to the belt loop and have their mech mod on hand at all times. Or if you carry a backpack with you, they strap it to, you know, they clip it to their strap. Either way, regardless, Vape Sling, it is one of the, the most useful additions and accessories for vaping that I have seen in a while. Um, now there are a bunch of different companies out there that do similar styles like that. They're not all bad. I, I haven't used every single one of them and I'm not going to, I don't want to disrespect anybody for trying to help, you know, vaping and things like that. But some problems that I see with some of them is you can't vape your device while they're in the holder. They're, they're literally just to hold it and then you have to take it out to use it. Again, you fall into the problem of maybe, you know, God forbid, it's slipping out of your hands when you're trying to take it in and out of the, the container or you put it on the counter. And again, there's no attachment. So you forget it's there. You walk away. God forbid somebody steals it. You forget about it. You're, you're, you're out, especially if you have one, you know, that that cost you a bit of money. You know, it's not something you want to casually just leave around this. You can't forget it. It's strapped to you. It's basically attached to you once you're wearing it. The only way, up, obviously, is if somebody walks up to you, pulls it off of you, or you take it off, place it all on the counter. If you're using one, not really seeing anybody purposely taking the whole thing off just to set it to the side. Again, while driving, you don't have to take your device out of anything 
to use it while you're driving. It's right there. Um, besides also the customability of the different sizes, the different lengths, the different styles. You know, some have the power cord strap, some have a thick strap like this, some have an in-between strap. They have the hand styles, they have the fabric that you can uh, custom design to whatever type of fabric logo that you want on it. I mean, he, he has gone through it's crazy how much testing and how much uh, talking to people that he's done, how much research he's done on this, how much looking into different things, what will work, what will not work, um, just to make sure that this is, you know, the best version of what he wants it to be. This is exactly what he, he says it is. This is what he does. The lifetime guarantee, all, all the material and everything of how this is made is all done in the U.S., um, just a big, big advocate for vaping. Um, if you go onto his website, it explains all about the different vaping advocacy groups that he belongs to and how to help with that if you're interested in that. Just a great, great man overall. So definitely, definitely, definitely check this out. If you vape a lot, if you always have devices on you, if you're looking to use them, if, especially if you've had a habit of misplacing them, knocking them over, people, uh, people, other people knocking them over, it might not even be on you. You know, you can put it down on a counter. Somebody walks by, hits the counter. Oops, there goes your device. They're not going to pay for it. This will help cover that while you're driving. While and it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. It really doesn't. You can basically mash this up into like a ball, stick it in your glove box. Um, just, but it's a great, great, great accessory to have especially if you move around a lot and like i said the second part to this video i will be filming parts of this from the expo this weekend and i will have this with me and i will show you the versatility of having it and why it's also a godsend so definitely check out for that if you want to that red subscribe button on the bottom definitely click on that it'll let you know when my next video pops up so that you'll be informed of when the next vape sling is and i'll also make a post about it as well but JG, thank you so very much for the opportunity. My sincerest, deepest apologies that it took me a while to get this video up and running for you. But definitely check them out. It's vapesling.com, Instagram, Facebook, email directly. I mean, definitely talk to the man. He is willing to work with you on anything and everything about making this what you want it to be and ensuring that it will be the most benefit to you to ensure that your vaping continues and you don't have any problems with it whatsoever. It's just... You, you definitely need to try one if you haven't yet, but that's vapesling.com, Instagram, Facebook, email. It's just a great, great company. Great, great man. Very useful accessory. As always, guys, I'm Token Vaping. I'm here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. Anything that I can do myself to help further enhance your vaping experience and make it more enjoyable for you, it's the only reason why I do this. So reach out to me if you have any questions, comments, concerns, a particular video that you'd like to see done. I will do everything in my power to make that happen. Until next time, at least until part two of this, I am continuously humbled and honored by all the support, all the subscribe buttons, clicks, everything that you guys have shown me, it is just truly humbling. And I am so very eternally grateful and thankful for that. But until next time, always truly love yourself. Vape on, vape strong. Have a good one, guys.